But what is up, YouTube? It's right here. I'm gonna give you the next top 10 series to for a jailbreak iOS device running iOS 10. So let's get started. So our first tweak is slide to unlock 10. So with slide to unlock 10, it just brings the old iOS 9, iOS 8, iOS 7, all the way back to iOS 1.0, the slide to unlock feature. So yeah, it brings it back. And instead of getting the widgets, just like this when you do uh, slide to unlock, now you just get the regular passcode, you type it in, and we should be good to go. So it brings back the old feature of just sliding to unlock on your device. So that's all the help of slide to unlock 10. Our next week is still for lock screen and it's called lock HTML4. So what lock HTML4 does just gives you the option to put widgets on your lock screen just as this, this kind of like um, it's, I think it's called it's called Barbados for lock HTML4 and it just gives you this nice design on your lock screen and I'll be making a video on the top 10 best lock screen widgets which will be like kind of like theming for your device so stay tuned for that I'll be making that very soon so yeah so this is all the help of lock HTML4 and Barbados if you want to get this clock right here I'll leave a repo down below description for both lock HTML4 and um, Barbados. Our next week is called Olympus. So it's um, not yet supported 100% because you you do get these um, white or black depending if you have Nautics installed. Uh, you get like some blank pieces but if you do click on them you know, activate to their original icon color. But yeah, it's a very nice looking uh, task switcher. So let's say, let's open some apps right here. In this one, open my Twitter, Clark. And we go to our task switcher we will get this nice view we can if we zoom out we just get the app icons we zoom in just a little bit more we zoom in we can get this three by three uh setup or we zoom in a little bit more we can get this uh two by two and we can just get the regular ios design which will be the single page right here so, so yeah so that's all the help of olympus it's still kind of buggy because it's not yet support for ios 10 but it's a good uh task switcher for your device so our next week is something that you can't see but notice so our next week is fast charging so what fast charging does this uh, speeds up the charging process when uh, connecting your charger to your device it just speeds up really quickly so on the iPhone 7 the iPhone 7 actually charges very slow and with this tweak enabled um, I noticed that it charges at least 1% per um, minute or 1 minute and 30 seconds it will charge on a regular basis I do charge my phone a lot and with this tweak right here it even makes it last so the battery does last more with this tweak right here so I really do recommend it it's fast charging and it's a really great tweak so our next week is called Pillar. So what Pillar does gives you this nice Apple TV notification to your device. So let's say I want to delete an application, you will get this nice Apple TV look to a pop-up or anything. So it's just telling me you want to delete eBay. I'm just going to click cancel. So it's a nice little um, notification that it gives you. We have enable. We have um, use wallpaper color, um, alternative style. Um, we have a lot of stuff and it just gives you a nice um, Apple TV feel to your um, to your app purchases or just lean apps it just gives you a nice uh, look to your alerts and I really do recommend it I'll help of Palert. So our next week is a must have for iOS 10 jailbreak users so there's there have been some people commenting on my videos that once they uninstall a tweak or something that their seal just uh, disappears from their device and they can't actually get it back but with this tweak right here, I recommend you getting this before this happens. So with this tweak right here, it's called uh, City of Fall Safe. And what it does is if you uninstall an app or you accidentally uninstall Cydia, once you do click on this app right here, just reinstall Cydia on your device and it will just pop up again on your home screen. So this may happen to you. It may even happen to me in the future. So I really do recommend you getting this right here. It's, you do need a customer pause to read up your screens in the below description as well. So it's Cydia failsafe, it just uh, enables back Cydia back onto your device if ever deleted. So yeah, it's a really must have tweak, I really recommend it. Our next tweak is called Harbor, Harbor for iOS 10. So this is a paid tweak, and if you want how to get paid tweaks, I do have a video down below in the description uh, showing how to get actually paid tweaks for free within the default uh, repository. So do check that out, links in the description down below. So, uh, Harbor is just a nice uh, macOS 
stuck right here so you get this nice animation when scrolling within your amps and if we do stop on one of them it just opens it opens it and you get as many uh, apps on here so I'm enable wiggle mode you can put this up right here that up right there and that up right there and each time you add an app it'll just make it smaller but if you do scroll all of them you will get this nice uh, Mac feel to your duck right here and it's a very uh, nice looking tweak and if you have uh, notifications on one of the apps in the dock it will just start bouncing so it's a very nice uh, tweak it's all help of Harbor 10 our next tweak is a very uh, must have tweak if you like your privacy so the tweak is bioprotect so what bioprotect does it protects your device from people trying to snoop in through your messages or pictures or anything like that they, they will need to have your fingerprint so they will need to have your uh, fingerprint to actually unlock the device so as you can see right there I just unlock it just with my fingerprint and you can even unlock uh, folders so you want to unlock a folder or a specific action it's a very uh, nice tweak to actually have if you do want to keep a privacy. So yeah, it's all helpful by protect, log any app, folder, or action on your device. And so our next one is called Any Launch. Any Launch, what it does, it just gives you a nice animation when opening apps. So you can see, as you can see, I just got that little bounce when opening the settings app right here. You can choose between different animation right here. So let's try Snake. So let's try to open the settings. And it just wiggles side to side. Hop. It just hops over uh, to your device. So yeah, it's a very nice tweak if you do like having uh, animations opening and closing applications. And that's all the help of any launch. And I say the best for last because this is a wow, this is an amazing tweak. You can make your own themes with this tweak. And it's called AppCon. So AppCon, make your own themes for each icon you want so you don't have to depend anymore on animal or when to board make your own themes so let's search up for ebay icon so it just loaded so i'm gonna click on this one right here so i'm gonna save this to my device and all you want to do is activate wiggle mode and tap on the icon and you want to click on replace with photo library click on that click on this you want to save it and your icon should be changed to whatever picture you chose as you can see, eBay is black and as well, let me just turn on my brightness right here. And as you can see right here, I changed my city icon to this nice looking one right here. As you can see, it's a very nice looking one. And my jailbreak icon, and I changed this to a black teardrop, which is black rain. So black rain was the first jailbreak I actually used on my iPod Touch. So I just want to have a little throwback on my iPhone 7, just having the black rain icon on my device. So yeah, so make any theme for your device. So let's click on this one right here. So let's click on messages, tap on it. And I do have a custom messages up uh, picture right here. I want to save it. You can even install um, rounded applications. So as you can see right here, let that focus. As you can see, this is a rounded messages application. And it's a very nice tweak. Just make your own themes with this application. So this is a very must have tweak if you want to make your own theme or customize your device to your liking. So yeah, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe more to me. Just come your way. It's Jason right here. See so the next one. Peace.